All right, hello everybody. It's Captain Conroy here once again, and this time I'm back with um, two very recent items of mine. I mostly purchased these with the intention of um, upgrading Lord Halliday's look, but um, I've got also there's the difference between what he'll think and what I think, as of course. This is my main account, and Lord Hallows is just a persona for me. So, yeah, I just thought I'd showcase personally what I think to these items. Um, and they are, in fact, the cloak here and the medallion, both of which are replicas of those worn by the late great Battle of the Gozi as Dracula. Now, for the basics, um, I got both of these from a website called Mad About Horror. And their delivery time was brilliant because I ordered them one day and I think they more or less came the next. So that is pretty good customer service, I do have to say. Um, and as for how they are, um, well, before I say how they are, uh, I only bought these from Mad About Horror and the actual manufacturers, Trick or Treat Studios. And I had to go to Mad About Horror in the end because. Um, at least I remember last I saw um, Trick or Treat Studios aren't shipping to the UK for some reason or another, which is funny how they got these, but, um, well, I guess they have their ways. But yeah, as for how they are, well, the quality on these is pretty nice. They start the medallion. This bit actually is metal, and this is like a medallion ribbon, I believe the description said. And if I come up close to further details, you can see how you've got like moons and stars, which I find a nice representation of when, of course, which time of day it is when Dracula comes out. And this in a bit, in a way, I guess looks a bit like a sun. But there's so much detail. It's sadly underplayed though, because it's just a plain back. It could have easily made it the same on both sides. But I guess they chose not to for whatever reason. What I will say though is that well, shortly after I filmed an unboxing video for showing Lord Hallows receiving me, these from me, the metal part actually did fall off. So I've had to resew it back on and I guess it shows a bit. But I guess I just got a bit unlucky and it was something I could easily fix myself. And as for the cloak, well, it is huge. Um, it's very long too. Oh, let's pop this down. Down here and you can probably see how low it hangs. Oh yeah, well, keep in mind, uh, I'm six, six foot one and it kind of hangs down to about my ankles. Which I think is accurate. I'm not sure how tall Bella Lugosi actually was, but um, I don't think his cloak came down all the way to the floor. And it is based on his personal, um, personally owned one, which he later gifted to his son. Um, and that also shows with the, the lining because he didn't actually have red. This colour, I believe, is taupe. And I was told that the reason it probably was top is that it showed up better on a black and white camera. Which I guess I can believe that. It's a really heavy piece too. Like, when I first got it, I was surprised as to just how heavy it was. And the quality of the material is quite nice. Interesting enough, it feels a bit like wool, but the label says it's actually polyester. And the lining has this very in interesting um, texture to it. It's more or less like a... Well, it kind of looks a bit like a half circle, but it falls down to a full circle, which is good. And um, we've got how the collar can stay up, thanks to this um, metal piece that's in it. I'm personally not a massive fan of that because I can feel a couple of 
sharp edges and because it's so heavy if you're not careful those sharp edges could easily tear through it and ruin it and debating whether to leave it in or take it out but and i could just put some really strong interfacing in there instead but i don't know at the end i think i might just leave it because i don't want to risk and ruining it myself but it's comfortable enough to wear and i've got it on a top of a jacket of course which has padding on it and if it's not obvious on the camera you might be wondering how, how is it staying on how is it not falling off well the answer is simple it's got these um ties underneath and i've just wrapped it around and tied it around the back which i believe was the same way the goes did hers so yeah that's the that's the cloak if people said it was a costume piece, um, they would be correct in a way, but what I've definitely got here from Trick or Treat Studios, and they should be proud of themselves, uh, it's what it feels to be a very authentic replica, and I actually am convinced that you could just use this in the winter as a, as a normal cloak, because um, but I can do uh, Day, of course before there was the overcoat there was the cloak and this probably could keep you warm in the winter and stand up to the elements pretty well i reckon i really would love to try it if i was a bit braver too but sadly i'm not i'm not quite that brave but if any of you guys out there who has this and may want to try it by all means please do no um i don't really am convinced it should um hold up well enough Um, the medal uh, Ali and I'd say it was good quality too. Pity my medal fell off shortly after I got it, but I guess I've just got unlucky, and it might not, it might not happen to you. But um, uh, just keep that in mind. Should you want this medallion, and if you want these items, I'll happily put links in the description. Um, it's not a sponsor or anything, I'm just giving my honest thought on these two products, which I bought with my own money, and despite the incident for Medallion, I don't regret it at all, I do not regret my purchase, and I'll be happy to use Mad About Horror again at some point in the future. So yeah, that's this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and until the next video, this is Captain Conroy signing out.